buy account settings for AutoDS. Buyer accounts are good for having AutoDS automatically fulfill your orders for you straight to your customer. So when you have an order, AutoDS will log into your supplier's account, buy the product and send it directly to the customer, automatically updating tracking information and all of that. So to go about all of this, the first thing that you need to do is have your own buyer account. So click on add account. Here you have your account details. The first thing that you need to do is choose your supplier. So let's go ahead and start filling in our account details. The first thing you need to do is choose your supplier. So here we have Amazon or AliExpress. I'm going to go with Amazon for this example. Choose your region. We'll go with Amazon US, United States. Email is the email address that you're using to log into the supplier site. So I'm going to go with Liran at AutoDS.com. Password is whatever password you need to log into the supplier site. So write down whatever your password is. The name for your billing address. Zip code. Billing phone number. Write down whatever your number is. And the verification code. Now, where do we get this verification code? So the first thing that you need to do is log into your supplier site. So let's log into Amazon. Click on your account over here. Login and security. Next, go down to the two-step verification settings. Click on edit. Click on get started. Authenticator app. Now click on can't scan the barcode and you'll get this and you'll get this code over here in bold. Copy that and add that to the verification code down here. Paste and next. Now let's continue to the payment settings. So you can choose credit card or gift card. I personally recommend going with credit cards. Gift cards can be dangerous if they're discounted. Amazon can lock your account and you're going to have a very hard time or almost impossible to get it back. So let's go with credit card. Add a credit card. Okay, and let's start filling in all of the information that we need. I'm obviously just writing anything for the example. After you're done filling in everything, click on add card. And here we have the credit card that we added. It's set as the primary card. You can add more cards, edit the existing one or remove it. Now let's click on next. Now we have the order settings for this buy account. So your max pending orders is the maximum number of orders that you want to have in the ordered status before they move on to shipped. Sometimes you don't want too many pending orders, especially if it's a new buy account, because then there's a chance that Amazon will lock the account and you're going to have to call them and go through a verification process. So if it's a new buyer account, I recommend putting a maximum of five or 10 maximum orders. And the daily orders price limit is the same as the max pending orders, except in this field, the system is asking you what is the maximum price limit that you want in pending for all of the orders that haven't been shipped yet. So let's say you have 10 pending orders that are ordered but not shipped, and the sum of all of the 10 orders is $1,000, and you don't want to go past $1,000. So just put $1,000 as your daily order price limit. So every time you have orders that have been ordered but have not yet been shipped, and their total is $1,000, the system will issue the orders for you. If it reaches $1,005 or more, the system will not issue out the orders until some of the orders from the ordered status have moved to shipped, the limit will drop and leave more room for new orders. So that's your daily orders price limit, your max pending orders. If you check auto order and auto tracking numbers, then every time you get a new order, the system will automatically issue them out for you. If you uncheck auto tracking numbers, the system will still automatically order everything for you, but will not update the tracking numbers. You're going to have to do that manually. And if you have only auto tracking numbers, but not auto order, every time you'll get an order from a customer, you'll have to click on a button to issue the order yourself which I will show you in just a minute, but the system will still automatically update the tracking numbers and so forth. 
So that's the difference between the two. I recommend to have them both on unless you want to manually click a button to have the system issue the orders or unless you want to automatically update the tracking numbers. But I don't see any reason for you to do that because the system really does it well and it's very practical. So once we're done with all of that, we're going to click on add. And here's the new buy account, liranarods.com. This is the supplier. I don't have any gift card balance. I didn't set any daily limit. I didn't set any pending orders limit. My payment method is credit card. I don't have any orders yet. Now you're going to have to copy this OTP number over here. Head back to Amazon. Put that in the verify OTP and continue. So paste that over here and click here. Once you do that, AutoDS will be able to successfully connect to your buy account. If there is any problems, the system will let you know. And that's how you go about adding a buy account. As you can see, the status is active. And now the system can start issuing the orders for you. If you click on the trash can over here, it'll delete the account. The pencil icon will edit it. And you can continue adding as many accounts as you want. Now that the buyer account is set and active, let's make sure that AutoDS will update the tracking information correctly. So what you need to do is go into the store settings, click on the supplier that you're using. So for this example, it's Amazon US. And under the orders tab, on the bottom, you'll see your unique tracking email. What you need to do is forward all of the emails that you're getting with tracking information from your supplier and forward them to this address over here. You can copy it by clicking this button over here. For more information on how you can forward your emails with tracking information to this unique tracking email over here, check out the help guide in the links below. Now let's see the order statuses. Click on orders on the left side. As you can see, you have a pending order over here. Each order that the system fulfills for you costs one order credit. So you're going to have to have credits up here in order to have them click on buy credit. Here you'll have the list of credits that you can buy and their prices. The more credits you buy, the cheaper it'll cost. So keep in mind, each order costs one credit. And if you're using the fulfilled by AutoDS service, this is where you can load your balance. In order to load your balance, just click load. Here you can choose the amount, your payment method, which is PayPal. We also have Payoneer coming soon. Select your buyer account. We don't have any since in this video, we're talking about the automatic order services and not fulfilled by AutoDS. But here's where you can do it. So that's just a brief explanation of that. Here you can customize the columns, what you want to see first. So let's say the item ID is not important for you. You want to start off seeing the store's name, the quantity, the customer's name, the price that they paid, tax, and let's say their address. Click on update. And now you can see how everything here rearranged exactly the way I wanted it, starting with the store name, the quantity, the customer's name, the price, tax, address, and so forth. If you want to export your orders, just click on the export button up here, enter your email address, and the system will automatically send it to you to your email and you can grab it from there. Here it is, export file will be sent to your email around autods.com shortly. So that sums up how you can create a buyer account. If you have any questions, please let me know and I will answer them in the comments below. And please also subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay updated on all of the cool stuff that we have going on in the dropshipping world and on the AutoDS platform.